Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to learn about the adductor part and the hamstring part of the adductor magnus muscle. Adductor part of the adductor magnus muscle is seen in the medial side of the thigh and a hamstring part of the adductor magnus muscle is seen back of the thigh. Before going into the topic, we should know the divisions of the ischial tuberosity. Ischial tuberosity is divided by transverse ridge into an upper and lower area and the upper area is again subdivided by an oblique ridge into superolateral and inframedial area. Then the lower area is subdivided by longitudinal ridge into an inframedial and infralateral area. The origin of adductor part of the adductor magnus muscle is from the ramus of the ischium and the lower part of inferior ramus of the pubis. Please note the arrowed area in the diagram. Ramus of the ischium and lower part of inferior ramus of the pubis. This is the origin of adductor part of adductor magnus muscle. And the adductor part of adductor magnus muscle get inserted into the medial margin of gluteal tuberosity, linea aspera, medial supracondylar line. You will be getting this in an orderly way. Medial margin of gluteal tuberosity, linea aspera and medial supracondylar line. Next is the nerve supply. Adductor magnus muscle is called a hybrid muscle because of its double nerve supply. That is the adductor part is supplied by the posterior division of operator nerve. Whereas the hamstring part is supplied by tibial part, we will be studying it later. The adductor part is supplied by posterior division of operator nerve. The action of adductor part of adductor magnus muscle is the, as the name indicate, it uh, helps in the adduction of thigh. Next, let's see about the hamstring part of the adductor magnus muscle. The hamstrings have certain characters, that is the origin is from the ischial tuberosity and it get inserted into any one of the bone of the leg that may be tibia or fibula but there is one exception that is the adductor magnus. It reaches only up to the adductor tubercle of the femur uh, because the tibial collateral ligament of the knee joint is morphologically degenerated tendon of this muscle. Therefore, it is also considered in the hamstring muscles. The nerve supply is from the tibial part of the sciatic nerve and the action is the flexor of the knee and extensor of the hip. These are the characters of the hamstrings. The origin of hamstring part of the adductor magnus muscle is from the infralateral part of ischial tuberosity. As you have already seen about the divisions of ischial tuberosity, now it is easy for you to understand the origin of uh, hamstring part of adductor magnus muscle that is the infralateral part of ischial tuberosity and it get inserted into the adductor tubercle as we have already seen in the characters of the hamstrings. The nerve supply of the hamstring part of the adductor magnus muscle is by the tibial part of sciatic nerve and the action is extension of the hip and flexion of knee. Like, share and comment my video. Do not forget to subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.